Hello guys. Welcome to Loxio Tech YouTube channel. Today in this video we show how to set up and do a full clone backup of your Mac computer using built-in Mac backup software named Time Machine. First you need to check your primary Mac SSD or HDD size by clicking the Apple logo in the top left corner, then click about this Mac option, and then select storage. Here I have a 500 GB SSD drive in my primary drive. So I need at least 500 GB external storage or external hard disk to back up all the files in my MacBook Pro. Here I used a sample sand disk drive for showcasing how to do full clone backup using Time Machine. You can use any external hard disk for this purpose depending on the size of your primary drive or backup file size. You need to format the external drive before start the backup process. For doing this, go to Spotlight search bar and type Disk Utility to open Disk Utility and then select the external drive you want to format from the external list. Select the drive, here it's a SanDisk USB external drive, and click Erase, then select the format to Mac OS Extended Journaled and click Erase. Wait for a few seconds to complete. Format completed successfully. Check the drive properties if it's properly format or not. Then set up the Time Machine by open the System Preferences. And then open Time Machine. If you want to access Time Machine easily from desktop, then select the option Show Time Machine in Menu Bar. Open the Options menu to find the total size of your backup files and available disks for backup process. If you want to backup without power source or using battery power, select the option Backup while on battery power. Also this area show the total estimated size of full backup. Here it's 264.07 GB. So we need a hard disk of at least 265 GB free space to backup this Mac computer. Select the option, Backup automatically for backup files with a regular time interval without your consent. Select Backup Disk for backup files manually. Open Select Backup Disk and select the target external hard drive for backup and click Use Disk. If you want to encrypt your files using password, then select Encrypt Backup by clicking on it. It starts the backup cloning process and will take a couple of minutes depending upon your size of the backup files and system performance. Wait to complete the process. You can continue using your Mac while the backup is in progress. Hope you like this video and it will helps. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and also share with your friends and post comments too. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Peace.